Hello my beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, watchers, cross watchers, everybody's welcome here. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. All right, so when we look at the overall energy that's coming in for your reading, we get a gestation period in your love life is going on right now. We also see that inspiration, joyful muse is coming into play. So this should, those are happy energies. I like it. The dragon's horde is protecting the future. All right. So that is the energy that your person's bringing in around you. You know, they're very attracted to you. They definitely think that you are a muse. When we look at the energy of their thoughts, they feel very much that they want a fiery, passionate experience with you. They watch you on social media. The Five of Swords, they will cheat, steal, lie, or whatever to have passion with you. I don't really am not fond of that energy, very in and out energy. They have put you in the friend zone. It's more like a friends with benefits. I don't think that they're presenting this information to you this way, Scorpio. I really don't. They, you know, they look for opportune times when they think that you might be lonely or, you know, when they can call on you. But the Five of Swords is not a nice card. It really says that this person's very much an opportunist. They want to rush in, they want to rush out. You know, they want to they want to come on very quickly and they want results very fast with you. Well, Scorpio, you're sexy devils. What can we say? You rule the eighth house of sensuality, sexuality, and everything of meaningful significance. When we look at their heart space, this is very interesting. The Ten of Cups, they are in love with you. Ten of Cups, they see you as their happily ever after. They are invested in this relationship. They want to run home and say, honey, I'm home. But you don't know that. They're not telling you anything. The, the universe card is explaining to us here that your person in terms of their thoughts about you, they don't really think a lot about anything other than how they feel. They definitely find you alluring, super attractive, but I'm not, I see them very focused on this energy of being in love, but boy, oh boy, they are keeping it under wraps. Look at that self-imposed limitation. Their emotions are radically different from their thoughts. When we look at the energy of their intentions with you, the sun card, they want to have a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, a lot of love. Uh, they see you as their happy place. It's Leo energy. Um, but, you know, this person's very, you know, they intend on holding on to you, even though we see this energy that they could be juggling to people. They see you very much, uh, their, their intention with you is to treat you like the rock star that you are, to show you affection. But again, I don't see anything that tells me that they are specifically looking to have an exclusive relationship with you. In fact, I would say it's the opposite. They want to come in, rush in, get what they can get, you know, rush back out. But in the meantime, they did fall in love with you. When we get the energy of their actions, we see this person wanting a victory. They, we see them as being very, trying to defend their turf, trying to defend their relationship with you. But again, not taking action to end dating with other people. We see this person in this page of Pentacles energy. You know, they might, they might bring you, you know, a little gift or take you to lunch. But there's not a lot of action here in terms of, fulfilling what you might want in this relationship the seven of wands says that they're very defensive if you tried to talk to them they would just rebuff your your um concerns whatever but they do they're trying to manifest a victory with you but they want it the way they want it i'm not seeing this as a a very strong um, reading of reciprocity, Scorpio. So let's look and see what we have here for your energy in response to this. So that is a fully clarified thoughts, feelings, and intentions, but they're all about the passion. They're all about taking what they want. It's a very, for lack of a better way to say it, you know, it's 
it's pretty self-focused energy. I don't, I'm not fond of that for you. You deserve something sweeter and nicer. And yet, in their heart space, they have fallen in love with you, but they're working hard to ignore it. They're just not planning on doing anything with it. It's not going to leave them, though, with that strength card. Your person's going to continue to yearn for you. So let's see. Three of Wands. So you do see this person as your person. Whoops, a daisy. We have lots of cards that dropped out, and I'm going to take them. So then we have the energy crossing it is the High Priestess. So you're keeping very quiet. You're sort of trying to let this person figure themselves out. The hanged man. Um, you know, looking at things from a different perspective, staying very quiet, very discreet. You do like this person a great deal. You would like to come together with them. You would like to make it work. You're in love with them, Scorpio. You're still in love with them. Look at this, the Ace of Cups. So, you know, take it as it resonates. Um, you, the two of you really love each other. There is a chance that this, this could be a secret love affair, but I'm not seeing a lot of that, to be perfectly honest. But again, um, you know, take it as it resonates. Let, let's look at the Destiny cards for you. What is, oops, a daisy. <laughs> I almost dropped the whole deck. Let's see what we have. What, what does the Sacred Destiny have to say about this relationship? We have overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. All right. Okay. So protecting the future, being one another's muse. Impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. You are at an impasse here whenever they go into that energy of self-protection and not being loving with you. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, Scorpio. Make sure you keep yourself happy. So that is your reading for now. It looks very much in flux, Scorpio. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you think of the reading and how it resonates. Thanks so much, Scorpio. Hope to see you again in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.